Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Wuhar. These are your top stories. Today marks one week since a luxury yacht ran aground at Horolua Bay, one of the most treasured surfing spots on Maui. Crews made some progress in moving the vessel off the rocks and the reef over the weekend, but this morning, it is still stuck. So here's new video from DLNR showing what happened yesterday. A salvage ship came in and tried pulling the 94-foot, 120-ton-yacht 120 120 yacht named Nakoa from the rocky shoreline. DLNR says during the high tide, crews pulled that yacht more than a dozen times and got it to move about 10 to 20 feet. It still needs to move another 20 to 30 feet before it's in the open ocean. Work will continue today, and the dirt road at Lipoa Point will remain closed. DLNR says the yacht's owner is unable to pay for the removal of the vessel, but the state will still bill the owner $460,000 and will take legal action if needed. The owner told us the mooring line broke as he was about to leave and that he wasn't being negligent. The yacht leaked some fuel into the water and damaged the coral below, but the full extent of the environmental impact is still unclear. A $40 million wave pool in Neville Beach is expected to open in just a few weeks. It's called the lineup at Vaikai, and it boasts advanced technology that can emulate waves from some of the best spots in the world. But some environmental advocates are expressing concern. Right now, we are in the middle of a water crisis because of the Red Hill fuel spill. We cannot afford to use our clean, fresh, pres precious water for purposes other than um, for drinking. The Wave Pool's website says that they are trying their best to, quote, make conscientious choices that will help reduce our footprint. The official opening date has not been announced, but their website shows availability starting in mid-March. How's it going? How's it, Steve? Uh, get ready for some windy conditions that are expected to last for much of the week. You can see there are some clouds upstream, but no significant rain-making systems anywhere close. So it is going to be a little bit windy all the way probably through Thursday before the winds are significantly back down. So get ready for that wet, well, that windy weather, even though we'll see just a few scattered showers for those windward areas. Leeward side should remain mostly dry.